Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. As you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America. In offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mines and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people. And they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in it. Dear Mama Mia, oh, it's a beautiful spring of weather here, and, and I'm just to come back from a sitting in a park. It's a funny thing about a sitting in a park, Mama Mia. If a man is to sit on a park bench to enjoy the sun, he's a call a sun beta. But if he's a sit on that park bench all the year, then he's a called a bum. <laughs> but anyway, sitting in the park, I was... Well, I was thinking how we used to go to the beautiful park near our little town in the Castella Mare. I remember, Mama Mia, how, how once we went on a big picnic over there. You, me, Aunt Josephine, Uncle Pietro... And the 50 sandwiches. <laughs> and I remember how, how when we was riding in the hay wagon and we smelled something funny. That's the one we knew somebody else who was to come along in a picnic. <laughs> yeah, I was Uncle Pietro's goat. And, and he's ate all the sandwiches and the wax of paper didn't even spit out the rubber bands. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia, we, we was so starved. But, but the reason I'm right to so much about these good times is because this is Sunday... My whole night to school class, we're going to Big Riverview Park here in Chicago. Yeah, I'm here that they got a crazy rides like the rally coaster, the hoop of the loop of peanuts, the hot dogs, the fortune tellers, and a fat ladies. <laughs> I know Pascal, he's going to want, I'm sure to take his daughter Rosa with me. But I'm going to think one fat lady in a park is enough. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia, she's so fat. When somebody is asking me, how big a Ross is, uh, five feet to one or five feet to two? I'm going to say, I can't measure like that. She's uh, more about, uh, about a half acre. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Mamma Mia, is it now time I should go to my night school and find out more about the Sunday? All right, class, quiet, please, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Yeah. Mr. Olson? Hey, yeah. Mr. Schultz? You have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Oh, I'm so sharp tonight. <laughs> if you're so sharp, Mr. Schultz, let's see you answer my first question. Who wrote The Village Blacksmith? Huh? <laughs> Who wrote The Village Blacksmith? Him, and all of a sudden, I got so dull. <laughs> I thought so. Mr. Horowitz, would you tell us? With pleasure. Longfellow. His full name, please. Certainly. Mr. Longfellow. <laughs> no, no, no. He had a first name. What was it? Uh, 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 the, the, uh, it begins with an H. Uh, 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 uh. Horowitz. I got it. Horowitz Longfellow. <laughs> His name was Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Thanks. I don't know what's happened to the class today. Mr. Basco. Huh? Perhaps we can take up the poem itself and get a correct answer. Will you recite the village blacksmith? The village blacksmith. All right. Uh, under a spread in the chestnut the tree. The... Huh. Under a spread in the chestnut the tree. The... Hmm. Spread in a chestnut tree. Luigi, if that chestnut tree keeps spreading, it's going to be a giant red one. Pat, <laughs> what's happened to you? Well, I'm a sorry, Miss Potter, but, but maybe it's because we're all thinking about the beautiful time we're going to have it this Sunday. 
Oh, I see. Oh, that, that could be. I am already thinking of the fun I am going to have on the loop-de-loop. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to a ride like that in years. Yeah, you know, I understand they got something new now, yeah. You climb inside, it takes you 300 feet up in the air, and while you are spinning in a circle, you turn upside down and move backwards. And if you come out alive, you get your money back. <laughs> well, in a way, I can understand why you're not thinking of schoolwork. Are you all bringing your wives? Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. yes, And I suppose you're bringing Rosa, Mr. Basco. Oh, oh that Rosa is a barrel of fun. Yes, yeah, she's a barrel, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not going to bring her. Then who will you bring? You know, the school supplies us with two combination tickets for each person free of charge, so you might as well bring someone. Well, I... I was asking Shelley Smith in Hamburg, Hamburgistan, but she's already got a date. But I'm going to find someone. Well, don't worry, Lavici. You got a few days yet. Somebody will come along. Well, I don't believe in waiting. You got to go out and get someone, Luigi. Uh, Luigi, uh, have you ever thought of uh, picking up a girl? <laughs> picking her up? Uh huh. What if she's enough fall down? <laughs> oh, you see a dumb cunt. <laughs> now, picking up a girl means you stand on a street corner and you give a, a wolf with her. Both of which, yes, sure. Here, like this. Now, look. A pretty girl turns the corner, so you puck her up, and then you try like this. (laughs) (laughs) Ach, Himmel, I'm married so long, my Witzler is pooped. What Mr. Schultz is trying to tell you, only in a not very subtle way, is that you might enlarge your circle of feminine contacts by attempting to be friendly. Leave it to a school teacher to give the facts of life so nobody can understand them. <laughs> Luigi, it's very simple. When we were young, we used to do it. You meet a girl and you say, just to get friendly, you understand, excuse me, miss, but you look just like my sister. But I'm a no-gutter sister. <laughs> oh, and then you say, uh, haven't I met you somewhere before? Yeah, but, but if I'm a matter before, then I'm a sure to remember her. <laughs> no, no, I'm a no like this. I think, I think if I'm a wanted girl, I should go with me, then I'm, I'm a sure to ask her that's all. Luigi, honesty is the best policy, but when you are asking a girl for a date, you are not buying insurance. <laughs> Class, I think we should let Mr. Basco try his own approach. Now, are you going any place after class? Well, I'm a... Uh, I'm a gotta go to the library. Good. Ask the librarian. Yo, uh, and don't worry. Any nice girl would give her right arm to go with you. Sure, Luigi, with your approach, she'll... Well, when you ask her, I'm positive that she's gonna... Well, if she don't go, don't blame her, Luigi. After all, a librarian needs both arms for her work. <laughs> Sir, this book is 11 days overdue. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, miss, but I'm really finished with a book two weeks ago, but I'm not going to bring it back till today. Why? Well, uh, I'm finished it, but then I'm going to lend it to my friend Horowitz, uh, who's a lend it to Olsen. Olsen is a let his wife read it, and I'm just got it back today. It did get around. Miss, you think... Uh, you think by lending out the book so much, I'm taking away the business from the library? <laughs> you do seem to be running a private little library. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, you got a nice, nice laugh. You don't mind if I'm a like it? No, of course not. Let me see. Eleven days at two cents a day, that's 22 cents. 22 cents, sir? Yes, you were overdue. That's a fine. That's a fine, huh? Hey, you're talking like me. That's a fine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice. Uh, here, I'm going to give you a quarter. All right. And here's your change. Three pennies. Oh, that's all right. You keep them here. I'm going to hold the next book a day and a half extra, and then we even. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know something? We both like to laugh on the same things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, how you like it to laugh with me this Sunday? 
Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? Well, well, I'm too busy. Well, I haven't been out on a date since Christmas. Oh, since, uh, since Christmas, sir? Uh-uh. Miss LaBaron, you better come with me. You're four months overdue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, come on, please. Huh? You're going to have lots of fun. They got all kinds of rides up and a loop and loops and a... And, and all of my classes are going to, to Riverview Park, huh? Come on, please, huh? Well, all right. Oh, good, good. Oh, the head librarian's watching us. She's very particular. Oh, well, that's too bad. She's going to have to find somebody else to take her. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pascal. Hey, what are you doing with all those books in your hands? What's it happen? You decided to get smart to wholesale instead of retail? Uh, no, no, Pascal, he's a gentleman. I don't care. Important the thing is, I bump in Olsen today to tell me you all going to Riverview Park together. <laughs> and you're taking a girl. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> well, don't worry about the food for the girl. Sunday, I'm going to feed her a special breakfast. I'm going to give her 30, 40 pancakes. <laughs> and I'm going to take along a little lunch. For you, 20 sandwiches. 20 sandwiches? <laughs> Mamma mia. Well, the sandwiches, that's just for you. For Rosa, I got three chickens, a couple of loaves of bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luigi, you could have a whale of a time. Oh, Pasquale, I'm... I'm a hater to disappoint you. Huh? I'm not going to take you well. What? <laughs> well, uh, please don't get angry, Pasquale, because I'm explaining. Explain, explain was... to me what, Luigi. Just because I got two ears don't mean you've got to give me double talk. Why shouldn't I be angry about, huh? I'm not taking a rush. All right, then she'll take you. <laughs> no, no, is it, is it too late? I already asked another girl. That's a treason. Who's the girl, you ask? Oh, she's a very nice girl. Yes, yeah, she's a... Well, I'm asking her when I was in the library. She's a work over there. Hey, wait till Luigi, you all mixed up. In America, you take books out of the library, not girls. <laughs> well, what's the difference? I already asked her. She's a gone as a date, and I, I, I can't take her. Out. All right, all right, the go. Go, I can imagine the kind of a girl as a go out with you. Stupid a look on a funny face of like bread. I bet she wears her glasses. Yeah, no, no, she's a, she's a, she's a pretty. Oh, she's a, so pretty. And it's sure, she's a wear glasses. And she looks even more beautiful. I'm going to go out with a girl who's a wear glasses. At least you can see who she's going out with. <laughs> she must have wore her reading the glasses. Wait till she puts on her look in the glasses. Ooh, what a she's going to see. Banana nose, with two eyes like a pumpkin of seeds, and a cabbage of puss on a melon of head. <laughs> All her life, this little girl's dreaming about a movie star like a Gregory Peck, a Clark Gable, Jimmy Stewart. She winds up with a Francis, the mule. <laughs> no, Pasquale, you, you got no right to talk like that. Oh, go away. A Mr. Face only a mother could have loved. Well, anybody could have loved me, that, if, if they want to. To love you, they got to kiss you, and no girl would ever do that. Is that so? Any girl would have kissed me? Yeah, I got a money. Says that no girl would have kissed you, and I started right off with this Sunday. $25. What do you say? Well, uh, well I'm, I'm just a matter. Oh, all of a sudden, you're not so irresistible. All right. <laughs> all right, it's a bet. $25. Huh? What's the matter, Luigi? You got a cold feet in your blood? I don't know, but I... I'm another girl. All right. Pasquale, that's a bet. If a girl is a kiss me, then I'm a win at $25. Huh? That's all right. Only I got to follow a little behind you just to make sure there's no cheat. Well, all right, Pasquale. You, you're going to be surprised. This is Sunday, your friend Luigi. He's going to be Don Juan. Oh, look who's talking to Don Juan. The only Don you're going to be is Don at 25 a box. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that millions of people find helpful and enjoyable during a busy day. Keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy in your purse or pocket. Every time you need a refreshing little pickup, chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint. Chewing on a good piece of gum really does something for you. 
This smooth, easy chewing helps relieve that feeling of strain and tension. Gives you a bit of comfort and satisfaction that helps you feel better and work better. Then, too, the refreshing real mint flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint leaves a fresh, clean taste in your mouth. So always keep delicious Wrigley's Spearmint chewing gum handy. Enjoy it often. It's good and good for you. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in it. Well, Mama Mia, today, today is a Sunday and I'm all excited to get myself ready for my date. First, I'm going to take a bath. Then I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a shave that's so close, I think I'm going to take off all the next week's whiskers. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to rub on some special shave lotion that I'm going to make myself. Here's I got a cologne, a little alcohol, some winter greens, a rose water, a few other things I'm a fan of in my medicine chest, which I'm a put in and spilled up for good luck. <laughs> Mamma mia, it's so strong, I'm, I'm sure you're going to smell me all the way to Italy. <laughs> but anyway, soon I'm a go... Well, Luigi, we are already accepted. Himmel, what is that smell? Luigi, don't you know it's against the law to burn garbage in the house? <laughs> no, no, sure, so stop making the jokes. I, I'm a medicine lotion. That's my own brand. Brand is right. You spill a few drops and it burns a hole in you. <laughs> Luigi, when are you meeting your girl? Twelve o'clock in the library. Oh, Luigi, ain't it wonderful to be going out with a new girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Schultz, I'm, I'm a gotta bet. Huh? If she's a kissing me, then I'm a gotta $25. Himmel, are you going out with a girl or with Lloyds of London? <laughs> no, no. Pasquale, he was so mad. So mad, I'm going to take a rose. Huh? He's a bet me $25 and no girl is going to kiss me. <laughs> Ridiculous, Luigi. A sure girl would kiss you, especially if you give her half of the bet. <laughs> I'm only fooling, but why did you make such a silly bet? After all, girls don't kiss on their first date. But why not, the Schultz? Luigi, now you own an antique shop. Do you give out free samples to everybody? Well, Luigi, good luck anyway. And you better go alone. We stay away from you, and that will improve your chances. Why? Because two is company, three is a crowd, and four is an investigating committee. <laughs> anyway, Luigi, stay away from us and don't go on too many rides. Yeah, find a nice hideaway bench and park. Find a bench, yeah? In a park? Sure. Luigi, that's called an amusement park. <laughs> you want to know why? Because when you park, that's the amusement. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Luigi, because it's late. And don't ask so many questions. Yeah, but I should say, uh, you think I'm going to win my bet? Of course. And what if you don't? You couldn't have a worse time than me. I'm going with my wife. Hush, <laughs> <laughs> my Luigi, be like me, huh? Always happy, always laughing. <laughs> Oh. My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> you you having a lot of fun, John? Oh yes, Luigi. Uh, maybe, maybe you like it to sit down, huh? Oh, no, I sit so much in the library. Let's go on another ride. Oh, all right. I like you, a bushel and a peck. And if you don't get that peck, you 25 is a go on a buy heck. <laughs> Luigi, who is that fellow following us around all the time? He's trailing us as though he was the FBI. Yeah, he's the FBI, all right. The fat the boys are in institution. Come on. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, Mamma mia, I think I left my stomach upstairs. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Well, well I'm holding you now. Now, don't worry. Well, I'm not worried. All right, then you hold me. Here we go. Kiss yeah. me. Kiss me. <laughs> Isn't this Ferris wheel exciting? Yeah. Yeah, look, 
Who is going to see the whole country from up here? Look, look at those people down there. They look like a midget. Those are midgets. You're looking at the sideshow. Oh. <laughs> you know something, Johnny? You're very sweet. Thank you. And we were... Well, we... Uh, uh, we're so, so, so alone. <sighs> yes. Give me a little kiss, will you? <laughs> Look, there's that man in the seat behind us. He's bending over, see? Yeah, I hope he's a fallout. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Pasquale. Well, what do you want? Ray, what's happened with you library? Left to you, eh? Yeah, don't, don't worry. She, she's going to be right back in the... Please, please, Pasquale. Why you got to be such such a pest? <laughs> Just to protect you to my investment, that's all. You better do something fast. I think about 20 of you, 25 is a god by now. I told you no girl would ever kiss you. Oh, go on, go on. Go on away, Pasquale. Come on, she's, she's, she's coming all right, back. All right, all right. Stop the pushing. And stop a wetting your lips, Luigi. They ain't a go to no place of today. <laughs> you, you, you sure that, Johnny, you don't want to sit down in, in a park? Oh, no, Luigi. We're having too much fun on the ride. Want another bite of my jelly apple? <laughs> no, no, thanks. The last bite I'm took is it's still stuck in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like to go on a boat ride? Boat ride? They got a lake here? No, there it is. It's called the Tunnel of Love. See? Oh, there's, there's a little boat to where all the little boys and the girls are they going, huh? Uh-huh. And the bigger ones, too. Huh? Yes. <laughs> nice and dark in there. Dark? Oh, well, uh, well... Well, what? Well, uh, if you're not afraid, I'm not afraid. Come on, let's go. Right this way, neighbors. All right, folks, we're going up and ride the Tunnel of Love. All right, here's the two tickets to Mr. Tunnel of Love. Okay, step right into the boat. <laughs> now take the little lady's hand. <laughs> That's right, now sit down. And off we go toward uncharted sea. Why, oh, is, is it dark in here? Huh? Hey, hey, Jonah. Hey, Jonah. Hey, Jonah, where are you going? I'm right next to you. Oh, my, 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 for a second I thought I was lost. <laughs> hey, hey, is it terrible, huh? They charge you so much money for a ride, they don't want to spend a ten cents for a little electric light. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be dark. Oh, it is, huh? Ooh, ooh, hey, oh, something is a creeping on me. Silly, it's reaching my hand out to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Luigi? Huh? I feel cold. Oh, you do, Hannah. <laughs> you want to wear my coat, too? <laughs> no, I'll be all right. Oh, that's so good. Luigi? What? I'm a little afraid of the dark. Me, too. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know what. We're soon going to be in the light, and then we can enjoy the ride. Luigi, these rides don't last very long. All right. If, if you like it, then I'm going to buy some more tickets later, huh? Uh-huh. Hey, it's a funny kind of ride with nothing to do, huh? Uh-huh. You know, I'm, I'm going to get a good idea for a game. What is it? Well, the... <laughs> Are you sure that you're not going to mind it to play it with me? Of course not. What's the game? Well, uh, <laughs> you splash the water on me and I splash on it. <laughs> well, you, you have a good time, John? Wonderful, Luigi. Best time I've had in a long time. And I'm going to brought you home at two later. It's already nine o'clock. No, it's not too late. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you have fun. Good night. Luigi. Huh? Good night. That's what I'm said. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. All right. Good night already. Let it go home.
Oh. Good night, Luigi. See me some other time? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, Mr. Don Juan, how you made out, eh? <laughs> I'm not seeing no lipstick anywhere on your face. <laughs> All right, Pasquale. Don't, don't be so funny. I, I, I think I'm a good kisser if I'm a winner, but, but if she was so nice, I'm a don't want to get a fresh with her. And I stop talking about it, Don Juan. All right, and then I'm going to be Don Juan. I thought Don Juan anything but my $25. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to give it to you. Uh, wait, I got a certain party. I want to get the satisfaction of watching this transaction. Yeah, well, who's this certain party? Who you think? The girl you jilted. I'm going to call her. Rosa! 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 You called me, Papa! <laughs> Yes, my little Ferris wheel. Rosa, say hello to the disappointed lover. Hello, <laughs> Luigi. Hello, hello, Rosa. <laughs> oh, Luigi, you look so sad. My heart is breaking. Here, I'll give you a kiss and make you feel better. No, 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 I don't oh, want to do that. Help us, Mary, wait. Wait, I'm, I'm just the one of the best. Huh? Yeah, you better know girl would have kissed me, huh? Well, Rice is a girl. She is not. She's my daughter. <laughs> well, that's the same thing. Give me the $25. Papa. Did I do something wrong? Oh, shut up, you face. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm, I had a very nice day, and, and I met a lovely, beautiful girl. Yeah, her name was a John. Only trouble is, the girl was too bashful. I'm almost lost to my better with a Pasquale. Yeah, I'm almost lost it because, well, then Rossi is helping me out. And even though I'm almost offended, who has worth it? Because I'm got the $25. The next day, guess what I'm did? I'm took Rossi to the amusement park because she's helping me win the money. <laughs> oh, you should have seen what's happened to Mamma Mia. In the park, one fella was a bet. He could have guessed Rosie's a waiter. He said a summer number. Rosie's sat down on the scale. The scale is sat down on the floor. And now that fellas are working by the peanut stand. <laughs> <laughs> to your loving son, Luigi Basco, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you to stop at the convenient display of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum next time you go to the store. It takes just a second, and it costs very little to buy a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint for yourself and your family. And you know that you're getting a taste treat that's sure to give you real enjoyment. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is chock full of lively, long-lasting spearmint flavor, and it's smooth and good to chew on. So when you're doing your shopping, remember to get some Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. It's healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Norman MacDonald. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Tom Conley as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Oak. Music is under the direction of Lud Russell. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>